Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But now, let's get right into today's topic, which is regarding a none other than Pepe. We're going to be doing our daily analysis on the price of Pepe, see what really is happening, and where we could see the price of Pepe going as we do go into this upcoming week ahead of us. As always, just a quick disclaimer for everyone that anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency. So looking at the price of Pep here right now, you guys can see it's currently sitting at 159. We're up 2% over the last 24 hours in USD comparative. We're also up 2.9% in Bitcoin and Ethereum comparative over the last 24 hours. Looking at its price, of course, like I said, you know, there's still about five zeros in front of the price right now. But if we're looking at its market cap, it's currently sitting at $670 million with the 24 hour trading volume currently sitting at $253.9 million. So now comes the question, what really is next? That is the question that might be on everyone's mind. So let's get right into it. So if we're looking at the price of Pepe, um, I'm sorry, if we're looking at their Twitter followers, you can see it's uh, currently sitting at about the same as to what it was yesterday at 334.1k followers and it's really starting to ramp up really really quick that shows that the interest level is building up and uh, you can see this for yourself the holder count is increasing day by day and this is what we've talked about on my channel for quite some time. I see the holder count increasing um, day by day. And um, of course, even leading into the next year, the reason as to why I think that's the case is because people are finally starting to realize that this is um, that Shiba Inu competitor. And I know I've seen the Shiba Inu community come out and comment at me and I respect each and every one of them. You know, they're saying, you know, Pepe has nothing to do and, uh, you know, it will never come close to Shiba Inu. But remember, guys, remember, 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 Shiba Inu was launched as a meme coin at the beginning and so was Pepe. And later on, the developers uh, brought a utility to it. So you can't write that off that Pepe won't do the same. And this is why so much interest is coming in. I hate to say it, there's a lot of Shiba Inu holders that are jumping into Pepe because they see the ROI potential on Pepe way higher compared to Shiba Inu. And that is, there's no denying that because look at the market cap difference. This is at $670 million market cap and Shiba Inu is at $4.6 billion. So there is literally no denying that uh, i'm sorry to say i know some people won't like that but you know i'm not going to sit here and say um, no that's not the case you know shiba inu has more roi i'm sorry i'm not going to sit here and say that but now you know, let's get right in at today's um topic which is of course about the price uh, if we're looking at the price right now um let's look at the market cap though like 670.1 million dollar market cap the 24 hour trading volume still quite high and look what Pepe is doing, exactly what I've been mentioning on my channel and I spoke about this yesterday as well. That support line, since we initially broke out of here on the 21st of June, is really showing the strength of this support. Look at this, yesterday when I made that update, we did wick all the way down to it again. And if you manage to dollar cost average in or, you know, pick some Pepe up around that 1501 cents mark, you are already up about 6.17%. So what is this showing us right now? Remember, Bitcoin is seeing a little bit of a retracement within its price and dominance is still sky high. But despite those two factors, we're seeing the momentum really show its strength here. And you can see this for yourself. We have been trading sideways above this level of resistance. And now if Bitcoin in the upcoming days hits a new yearly high, let me go bring out the daily time frame so you guys get a better picture as to what I'm really saying. So if Bitcoin were to hit a new yearly high, which is again a really small move, it's not a too big of a move if that is not achievable. Now uh, Bitcoin just needs to do a 4% move to hit a new yearly high. Guess what that's going to do to the crypto space? Um, obviously altcoins are going to lag in the BTC comparative, but in uh, you know USD comparative, we're really going to see uh, things pop off and I'm thinking that you know Pepe has what it takes. The next target that I'm aiming for Pepe is at this level of resistance, which I've talked to you guys about over the past few days. And remember, that is still a move from the current levels 
for about 30%. And you know, you might be saying 30% that is such a big move. That's not going to happen. Remember, Bitcoin just seen. Let's go look at this. So Bitcoin saw a move from this 24,000 $827 mark uh, all the way to this uh, $31,000, which was a 22% move, right? And we've seen Pepe go up 110% while BTC made this move. And why is that the case, you may be thinking? The reason as to why this is the case is because, you know, we are seeing so much momentum coming in. And it goes back to what I've said this before. Pepe has claimed itself as the next big hot coin. And, um, you know, of course, there are some other ones as well uh, that a lot of people are talking about. But, you know, this cycle... Last cycle, it was Shiba Inu. Literally, everyone was speaking about Shiba Inu. This cycle, everyone is speaking about Pepe. And we're seeing Pepe's growth. It's right in front of us. So that really paints a better picture for myself as to what I can see happening as we do go further into this bull market uh, for the entire cryptocurrency space. So nonetheless, things are looking really, really good, especially the fact that we have been holding above this level of resistance. I'm sure a lot of people that sold around this range that were, you know, given up, um, that fell for the whales, um, you know, manipulation tricks uh, are kicking themselves at this point because they've seen the price of Pepe go up a hundred percent right after that so this should show you what patience really does if you really believe in a project's vision if you really think this project or a certain project has growth potential then you know you want to have patience you do not want to just uh, have a weak hands and just get shaken out when whales are trying to manipulate the markets so that is that but um you know great to see what i'm seeing here right now but this is where i want to hear from you guys what do you guys think is going to happen for the price of pepe in the immediate short term are you guys thinking that pepe could uh, break out of this level of resistance uh before uh you know uh july again we have about five more days until july comes so do you think that we could retest that uh, uh before july the 4th or no this is where I want to hear from you guys. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, the momentum is what I look at. And if the momentum was weakening, I would have told you guys that, you know, um, if you are a follower on my channel, you know, I'm not going to just come here and overhype stuff that is not true. And um, I know a lot of my viewers can vouch uh, for me on that. And right now, the momentum is really strong still and um you know there's no arguing about that but right now we do need to pray for bitcoin to break out and hit a new yearly high that would be great to see and it looks like bitcoin is moving as we speak but like i said the next few hours will be very very important if bitcoin does go up and hit a new yearly high get ready for pepe to also start breaking and hitting new uh you know monthly highs for itself at that 1766 cents mark and in order Order for uh, us to retest the monthly high that is just a move of about 11 percent, and that can happen quite fast if you guys are familiar with that but nonetheless things are looking great but let me know down below what you guys think where you could see the prices going and let me know what you guys are doing right now currently but yeah thank you so much for all the support you guys are showing me love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out